Mr. Chairman, Mr. Steve Omojafo, our special guest of honor, Bashar Mujiki Randu, our guest speaker, Professor Oladeli Oshibanjo, our distinguished honorees, Chief Ajibola Mushola and Lady Maiden Alexi Bru, Chairman and members of the Board of Trustees, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and privilege to present the 2017 awardees of the Stephen Dodole Awokoya Foundation for Science Education Postgraduate Scholarship. When the foundation was, formed, was started in 1995, some 22 years ago, it was formed with the primary objective of promoting science and science education in institutions of higher learning in Nigeria. In furtherance of this primary objective, the Foundation has made yearly awards of postgraduate scholarship for studies in areas of science and science education. Our approach to the awarding of postgraduate scholarship is to reward excellence. The scholarship is awarded to the best students nominated from all the universities participating. In the year of scholarship award, the Foundation has made a total of 98 postgraduate scholarship awards to date. The course programs that the postgraduate scholarship award have been used for have included for the master's course biochemistry, biological sciences, biomedical engineering, chemical engineering, chemistry, civil engineering, computer engineering, computer science, construction engineering technology, human nutrition, mathematics, mechanical engineering, pharmacology, physics, physiology, production engineering, public health, science education, and special education. For the PhD program, the courses have included cardiovascular medicine, chemical pathology, clinical pharmacy, dental surgery, maths education, mechanical engineering, medicine, pediatric medicine, pharmaceutics, preventive dentistry, and science education. The beneficiaries of these awards have come from 22 different universities, with the candidates from the University of Lagos receiving 26 awards, the University of Nigeria and Suka receiving 12, while University of Ibadan had 11 awards, Namja Zikwe University with seven awards, Obafe Biawulo University with six awards, Confidence University with five awards, University of Benin has had four awards, Laduka Kintola University, University of Ilori, and Bell's University of Technology have received three awards each, while Amadu Bello University, Lagos State University, Redeemers University, University of Agriculture, Beokuta, University of Potakot have all received two awards each. The rest of the universities in the list have all received one award each, and this include Bowen University, Chukwemeka Udubegu Ujuku University, Adubayero University, Federal University of Technology, Mina, Labisi and Obanjo University, University of Aduguri, and Ajayi Krala University. Ajayi Krala University is just receiving its first award this year, and it's for a nominated study for a master's program in computer science. The process for the award of the scholarship starts with the nomination of candidates by the deans of the various faculties or heads of department related to science or science education at the tertiary institutions of, in Nigeria. The nominees are expected to be the best graduated students from the various tertiary institutions. The scholarship awardees are chosen based on excellence in educational performance stated long-term objectives, and an interview of the shortlisted candidates by the Board of Trustees. It is important to note that the scholarship is not based on need, but on excellence in educational performance. In order to qualify for the award, 
you have to be very good in your educational performance, both in your university and in comparison to other students in other universities. The Alcoa Foundation Scholarship is a reward for excellence and it is aimed at encouraging excellence in educational performance. It is an award for the best of the best. This year, we had 120 nominations from 31 universities. The distribution of the nomination is shown on this slide. Oh, this slide is clear. The, it starts with the University of Lagos having 14 nominations, 11 from the Namdi Azikwe University, Federal University of Technology, Mina, with eight nominations, Obafemi Awulawa University, with eight nominations, Bowen University and University of Ilone, with seven nominations, Federal University of Technology, uh, Federal University of Lokoja and University of Benin, and the University of Nigeria and Suka with six nominations. Crawford University, Federal University of... Out of the 28 second class upper honors graduates and 14 not classified, this will include medicine and current students who have not graduated. About 10 out of the 120 nominations arrived late and were not considered. The Puskari Scholarship Award covers tuition and board. The value is now 300,000 Naira per student per annum. This is a 50% increase from its previous value. It is renewable each year for a maximum of three years, provided the awardee maintains a good record of academic performance as attested to by the authorities of the university he or she attends. It is tenable in any Nigerian university and for nominees that have admissions to foreign universities to convert the scholarship into a travel grant. <laughs> this year, we had six pre-graduate awardees. We had six pre-graduate scholarship awardees chosen from the nominations received. And before I go further, um, one of the awardees from uh, Bell's University of Technology, uh, Miss Badejo, um, I understand she's unable to make it because she had a, an accident on the way for the, on her behalf. The first awardee for the postgraduate scholarship of the Stephen Oli Aoka Foundation for Science and Education for the year 2017 is Mr. Olajide Ezekiah. <laughs> Mr. Babidele attended the Omolayo International School in Abeokuta, followed by the Victoroti Private Secondary School, also in Abeokuta, in Yomu State. He had nine distinctions in his senior school certificate exams, including four years. <laughs> and he later went to study chemical engineering at the Obafemi Awolo University at Ilefe, where he graduated to the first class honors degree. With a little green point average of 4.77. He was the best graduate student from the Department of Chemical Engineering at the Buffalo Law University 2016 academic year. <laughs> Mr. Ramadani intends to pursue a master's course in chemical engineering. The second awardee is Miss Eziolu Stella Iluzuma. Miss Iluzuma attended St. Mary's Brigade Primary School in Enugu for primary schooling followed by the Federal Government Girls College in Onicha for our secondary schooling. 
She got seven distinctions, including five A ones in the nine countries. She later attended Namdi Azikwe University in Oka, where she studied civil engineering and graduated with a first class honors degree. She was the best graduate student in civil engineering in the year 2016. Ozuma intends to pursue a master's degree course in civil engineering. The third awardee is Mr. Ikena Ozofo. Mr. Zofo went to Tennis Memorial Grammar School at Onicha for his secondary schooling where he got eight distinctions out of nine subjects, including wow. for one and the He later gained admission to Namdi Azikwe University to study chemical engineering. He graduated with a first class honors degree with a completed degree for an average of 4.85. He was the best graduate student in the Department of Chemical Engineering in 2016. And he also set a record of having the highest final cumulative grade point average ever recorded in his department wow. since inception. Wow. Mr. Ozofo will be going for a Master's of Science degree in Chemical Engineering. So she will be here. I understand somebody is here to represent her from school. Ms. Badejo attended Excel Kids Foundation School at Abeokuta for her primary schooling and Alaba, North Sindoria College, also in Abeokuta for her secondary schooling. She got eight distinctions in eight subjects to go to Ms. She studied biomedical engineering at the Bell University of Technology in Ottawa, New York State, where she graduated with a first class honors degree with a cumulative grade average of 4.89. She was the best graduate student in the Department of Mechanical and Biomedical Engineering in 2016, as well as the best graduate student in the entire university. Of a postgraduate degree in biomedical engineering. We wish her a speedy recovery. The fifth awardee is Miss Mululuwa Zaya. attended the All Saints Church School in Jericho, Ibadan for her primary schooling and the Seed of Life College in New York in Ibadan for her secondary schooling. She got eight distinctions out of the nine subjects to start for in ISS five years. She later attended Ajayi Crowder University where she studied computer science with the ICT option. She graduated with a first class honors degree with an average of 4.84. Ms. Bizarre was the best graduate student in our department, faculty, and the entire university. Ms. Bizarre will pursue a master's degree in computer science. Ladies and gentlemen, 
The sixth and final awardee of today is Miss Miriam Oyemo. Ms. Ohemo attended the International Junior School and International High School, both at Sakale and Delta State, for her primary and secondary schooling, respectively. She later attended the University of Benin to study animal and environmental biology. She had nine distinctions in nine subjects that she took. And she graduated at the top of her class with the first class honors BSc degree. And a 4.93 can be given. So, here we will proceed in massive. Ladies and gentlemen, please congratulate the distinguished uh, awardees of the second scholarship award. All right, we're in. Sincerely humbled and grateful for giving this special gift. We thank you for your generosity, which is going to greatly assist us during our postgraduate studies. We are also grateful to our parents for their contributions, their encouragement, and for their support. And to our deans and head of departments for nominating us and giving us this great opportunity. Being given this rare gift, we promise to make the best use of it and excel in our various careers and make a positive impact in our society, the community, and the world at large. Hopefully, we will come role models to our generation. And by God's grace, we will also be charitable towards others in the future. Thank you once again.